Two-thirds of people in the United States know that we only use 10% of our brain, and by no, I mean are crazy horribly mistaken. Anthony here for DNews, and according to a brain health survey from the Michael J. Fox Foundation, 65% of Americans think that we only use 10% of our brains on a daily basis. It's definitely something I've heard in my life over and over again. Wait a minute, were those people insulting me? Here's the deal, that is false. It is crazy false. There is not a part of your brain that you do not use. There is no dormant part with psychic abilities or the potential to instantly memorize anything you see hidden behind some cranial roadblock up there. The human brain is an incredibly complex organ and all its little bits are highly specialized, some of them in ways that we are just beginning to understand. The myth probably started through a misquote of the findings of a study done in the 1890s by William James and Boris Sidis where they attempted to to raise a child prodigy in a way that would actually accelerate his intelligence. After raising the kid to an IQ of 250, James said, people only meet a fraction of their full mental potential. He just meant we don't challenge ourselves enough mentally. It's also possible that the myth came from early neurological research in the 19th or 20th century. As scientists started digging around in all those brains, it seemed like there were bits that didn't change anything if they were damaged or removed. And now we know that some areas just have very subtle and specialized functions. Stuff you might not be able to tell is missing right away. I mean, there's a part of our brain that is just dedicated to making electrical sockets look like faces. We also know that the brain can rearrange and reassign functions to a new part of itself if an old one is damaged. But it's easy to see how early data could have made it seem otherwise. We've got way better brain data now, thanks to stuff like fMRIs and PET scans that can show what the whole brain is up to at any time, down to these tiny electrodes that can monitor the activity of a single cell and they all show the same thing. Your whole brain is always worrying and humming with activity. Certain sections work harder than others at certain times, but except for people with actual localized brain damage, nothing is completely dark. There are some other things that point to the myth being wrong too. I mean, our brain uses 20% of our body's total energy. Why would it need so much if it was mostly dormant? Also, unused brain cells actually degenerate and autopsies of human brains don't ever show large scale degeneration that wasn't caused by an actual disease. So no, you are not a pill or a technique away from being a psychically powered warrior. But you know, the real unmangled quote from William James is still true. Most of us don't meet our mental potential. So now that you know that you can access all 100 billion of those neurons of yours at any given time, go out and do it. I am gonna learn French this afternoon. I wonder which part of the brain is responsible for unhealthy levels of optimism. Hey, what do you wanna know about the human brain? Let us know down below and we will answer some of those questions in future videos and subscribe for more D News.